In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the calendar in Outlook Web Access. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is be logged on to your email address and then go to your shortcut bars and click on the calendar. If you'd like to add an event to your calendar, make sure that it says Appointment and then click New. You don't have to worry about what date you're currently on to do this. That's a nice feature. You're going to want to fill in some of the boxes. So I'm going to jump down to Subject. And the subject is going to be an event. You don't have to fill in the location, but sometimes that's nice for you if it's a meeting that you're going to be having um, to put the location so you can remember. If you go down a little bit farther, you can see that you can put in the start date and time and the end date and time. So I'm actually going to change this date to November. And this event can now be changed from, notice that my end time actually jumped to that date as well. That's a nice feature that you don't have to type them both in. And then I can set my start time and stop time. So I will make this from 8 a.m. until 9.30 a.m. But notice I can make it an all-day event if I want to. That's a little bit easier if it's a meeting or a conference or something. You can just click all-day event. If you want, you can have the computer give you a little reminder and you can set that interval as well. By default, it's set to be 15 minutes. And then you can also set the um, showtime as to either be busy, free, tentative, or out of the office. Down at the bottom of the window is actually an area where you can type in notes as well. If there's some tasks you have to get done before the appointment, you can fill those in and refer back to those. When you've got the information in about your subject, your location, the start date, and the end time, then you can click Save, and that will put your appointment on the calendar.